Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to more Pikmin. It's me, Cooper, and today we are going to be... Sorry, I see a little exclamation point. Oh, you saw the fusion, so yeah. If I see the exclamation points, we're going to go over here. So I need to fuse four onions, which would be the first time in history. Because we've never had more than three onions. Never. Never. All right, let's just check around. Uh, where are you again? You're the florist guy, right? Oh, you're the bloomer. Yeah, I forgot. You want me to bloom a lot of Pikmin, which I'm sure I haven't done yet, but hey, I will eventually. I do want to do another night expedition to free one of these guys, but I also want to go back and explore. We'll do another night expedition once I clear the other area. I, I kind of want to try clearing the other area. And then, yes, I really want to go to Serene Shores. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm very interested in this new area, but we're missing a Pikmin over here, and that, that, that irks me. It makes me want to get it as soon as possible. Like, you have to understand. Let's see. We missed something. We missed something. And we missed some stuff on the surface. It's not even that much stuff left. And now that I can have a lot of blue Pikmin, I feel confident. I just wish I could have more than freaking three Pikmin types. I mean, freaking Olimar in Pikmin 2 had five Pikmin types at once. Three Pikmin types is for babies. All right. Blossoming Arcadia. I am back. Let's see what I can do. We got all the onions. We're missing treasures and we're missing rescues, which we'll do our best. I've just got to check my map, maybe use my drone, and then figure out where I want to go. Okay, we're back here. We're in the Blossoming Arcadia. We have our pupper. I love you, Uchi. And now we're going to look around real quick. Okay, I see a bridge we already did not build over there, which might matter. Okay, we're going to need a lot of blues, I assume. Let's say like 20. Uh, let's say we'll need 20 of every type. I think that'll be a safe number to bet on. Sorry, Reds, this area doesn't seem to be about you, which sucks, because Red is my favorite type. Red is just a nice... It's nice to have a warrior type of Pikmin. I do want to scope out with my survey drone, I admit. But, before I do that, uh, Ice Pikmin, get in there. I'll just send all 20 in there, and then we'll do the rest later. Okay, we killed that creature. How much do we need to build this bridge? 29? Do it. I don't even know if we need to do it, but we're doing it. Okay, good. It's close to base anyway, so I'm not worried. We could freeze the ice, but what would that even give us? We already collected the mound. And uh, we've done the stuff over there, so I'm still figuring it out. While they build that, I'll look around and... Uh, I should use my drone. Shit, how do I use my drone again? Uh, gear, right? Sorry, guys. It's uh, still kind of weird to get into this. Uh, you know, oh, oh, shit. Okay, yep. Um, gear and skills. Charging horn, treasure gauge, idle counter, headlamp. Okay, that's not what I meant. Is it minus? Yeah, it's minus. Obviously, I don't want to rewind time. That just seems like a cheater thing that they don't need to add, but whatever. Uh, I don't need bomb rock right now, so we're going to use... Um... Glow seed? What? What the hell? Uh, gear and skills, rescue... Did I miss it? Survey drone. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Survey drone. Let's just take a real quick look around. Just so we know what we should do today. Uh, I did not. Oh, I did that. That's the. That was the save a person mission. Uh, collect a dead body. No, thank you. We're looking for treasure, which are probably underground. Okay. There's something we haven't done yet. Dirt mounds everywhere. It's too busy collecting stuff, so I didn't go for raw materials. Uh, did that area, basically. Where are we doing right now? Because I just built a bridge, right? I'm building a bridge. We can go over here and over here. I guess it would just save a little time. Seems like we got everything over here, yeah. All the survey drone is doing is showing me I've done everything. Oh, shit. Can't go any farther than that. It's showing me I've done everything here. I wish there was a way to, like, push it up, but it can only do this. Okay, more raw materials. Hmm, where's the dungeon I missed? There's, it said I missed two dungeons, right? So, I mean, maybe one's a Dandori challenge, but where? Where could it be? Okay, I did that. There's a treasure right there. Let's place a pin on that. All right. Treasure has been found. Ooh, enemy type. How do I get up there? 
I need to find a dungeon to get up there. Because look, there's an exit. Do you guys see any nearby dungeons? If that's the exit. Maybe it's on the other side? Wait. Interesting. Oh, I have to go back in a dungeon that I completed. Because that's the closest one, right? So it has to be that one. I just... When I came out this side, I never put down the freaking paper bag. God damn it. And I never collected that. That was a very bad, bad Cooper. How dare you? All right. Well, I'm going back into a dungeon real quick. I'll just, you know, zoom through it. And then I did that dungeon. I'm not seeing any other dungeons that I missed unless that's something. That could, yeah, that that is something for sure. Okay, I place a pin there. I like that the drone actually gets the treasure tracker. I'm not seeing what else we missed. That's crazy. This might be a little harder than I thought. I'm trying to figure out everything. Okay, whatever. We used our drone. Uh, at least we got use out of it. It's a good drone. So we need to go over there, guys. Uh, it turns out what you're doing right now means nothing to me. Sorry, but it's the truth. I like that that guy's not drowning. That, that's the good news. Hey, get over here, buddy. Sad that you can't get that raw material for me, but that's fine. Do I have any blue Pikmin back here? Are they all... They're all ice, of course. All my blue Pikmin are building a bridge right now. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting that one raw material, which I guess slid down the hill. That's a little unlucky. He tried to go for it. Unlucky. You little bastard. Oh, what, where did this yellow guy come from? Look at them build. Uh, yellow guy, I think they're waiting on you. <laughs> that guy must have got stuck somewhere. That's hilarious. All right, I didn't really need to do this. Uh, I, I see this now, but hey, what are you going to do? Charge. Good job, my Pikmin. Good job. Paper bag lowered. That helps. Oh, there is a dungeon up here. Holy shit. <clears throat> New cave discovered. Let's do it. Draft gallery. Beneath this is an interminable darkness. Oh, that's fine. I got I got a headlamp. All right. Well, we're going in. Ooh, reds and yellows. At least I get to use reds again. I do like reds. It's like Cooper. They're literally the most basic type. They don't do anything. They don't fly higher. They don't fly lower. They don't swim. I mean, yeah, they can go in fire, but they don't have big effects. So why do you like them? Because 1.5 times the damage, bitches. <laughs> I like anything where they have a damage multiplier. This is starting to feel more like Pikmin 2. This area just looks like one of the Pikmin 2 maps. Well, a lot of the Pikmin 2 dungeons. So let's just get in there and let's get to work. Remember, glow seeds you picked up the other night? I took the liberty of putting them in your pack. Let me show you how to use them. First, select a glow seed from your pack. Then you throw it and instantly create a glow Pikmin. They only work at night or in caves, so don't forget that. Interesting! I can have more Pikmin by just creating them. That is cool. And there's no real time limit down here. I know there's kind of a time limit, but no real time limit, so... Uh, I gotta go back to shortcuts. Yeah, there's so many shortcuts that you actually would want to use, so it's kind of annoying, but... It's fine. Let's go to pack. Pack, I'm gonna need some of my glow seeds. Yeah, let's, uh... I hope these guys don't go away after I do this. That'd really suck. Like, if they die, they die. I understand. That's why I lose them. But if they survive this, I hope they just go back to being seeds when I leave. Red Pikmin. Yep. Before they even got thrown off. Good job. Yellow Pikmin. Good job. You know what? Collect the bodies. Don't, don't ever forget the bodies. In his face. Yeah, get his eyes. Beautiful Pikmin. Beautiful. Yellows, you'll be my collectors for now. Right, yellow Pikmin collect, red Pikmin murder. It's a good mix of uh, mix of jobs. And glow Pikmin are cool. I'm not gonna mess with them. Good job. Hmm. I knew it. Treasure. All right, there you go. Wait, are they gonna just fall off into death? Oh no, they're smart. Thank God. I could have tore down that door, but I don't really see a purpose to that. It's not even that big of a difference here. It's like, oh, are they not moving fast enough? There you go, two more Pikmin. Oh, they are. Here, you guys can have a little help too. I, I think three is the maximum, right? Okay, it doesn't matter. There we go. And we got the jingle bell. Heck yeah. And that has to be it in this area. This area is so small. It's only the second area in the game, so I understand if the areas are small. 
If he knocks all the Pikmin off his back into the abyss, I would have been so sad. So they only come off when they see an enemy. They can hold on no matter what. Oh, I love all these Pikmin types. They're so cool. Drafty Gallery. So there's four floors because that was 25%. I like that if you do like collect everything, you can kind of figure out how much you're going through. And there's going to be people down here and they're probably not Leaflings, so that's good. <laughs> Whenever they're falling to the, like, their doom, it looks so funny. It's like, ah, this might not be the time we survive. But then you always survive. All right, this time it looks a little bit bigger. I might destroy the wall. Oh, I could have got raw materials. Okay, big mistake on my part. Bigger mistake is I sent all my warrior Pikmin to do that. Especially when I see a fiery blowhog. But in this kind of a map, ain't no way I'm going to I'm gonna wait until, uh, yeah. Because I don't want him looking any other direction. If he looks into the wrong direction, I could lose my Pikmin. Is that an ice flower? Why is there an ice flower down here? That's so interesting. Oh, I'm using the wrong Pikmin types. You know what? Glow Pikmin, get up there. There we go. Yeah, that does look like an ice door. There's gold in here. That's cool. Yeah, give me those. Give me those ice flowers. They, they, that seems interesting. Oh, my glow! My glow Pikmin come back to me instantly. That is interesting. Glow Pikmin work way faster than normal Pikmin. I can't believe a flower is this big as blooming. Yeah. They can change color. Yep. It's like they got all the same DNA, just different attributes. Which is kind of cool. Alright. Looks like we can get five ice Pikmin, and that's what we're going for. The glow Pikmin just returned to me. I love that. I love that so much. That the glow Pikmin just returned to me. That's just great. Here, let's have our Pikmin come over here. And then they'll probably pick that up for me. Oh, that thing's got some freaking heat behind it. Let's, let's make sure our Pikmin don't walk this way. All right, those nunchucks are like one of those stress reliever things. I, I, I don't even know. Get them, boys. It's just fun to watch. Yeah, it's one of them. Uh, I guess it's supposed to be for your grip or something. I don't know. I don't remember what, why they actually have those, but they never bothered me. They're cool. Yep. Oh, they collected all the gold for me. Good job, boys. Good job. All right. Now that we've done that, uh, can we go on this with Uchi? We can. All right. Oh, it's just for some eggs? Yeah, that's fine. Let's see the glow Pikmin at work. Alright. Uh, there are some Pikmin that need it, so... Everyone, walk through. Come get it. Hey! We completed the, the workout set, it looks like. Alright, good job. One of the Pikmin didn't get it. That bastard. <gasps> Ooh! Part of a train set, or a puzzle set. Ah, uh, it's a puzzle set, but it looks like you could also make it part of a train set, and that's cool. I always like trains. Oh! Yes! Unlimited power! Yes! I can do it! It's kind of glitchy, but I'm doing it. Yes. Am I going to get in trouble for this? Like, will the game break if I keep doing this? I have to keep trying. Dog powers activate the power of balance. Wait, can I go up with it? Will it take me up? Oh, no. I just fall through it. Okay. That would have been crazy if it, like, shot me up into it and then I'd become a leafling. Like, unintentional. Oh, it was for a train set. Perfect. Like, unintentionally, but it'd be, it would be funny. Alright, I got a complete there, so... Let's go ahead and go down, everybody. Ah, oh, this feels right. This, like, I'm sad it's not two-player, but this, like, I feel like I'm... I'm playing a Pikmin game again. This feels good. A Pikmin 2 game, more, more like it. It's not quite that, but it's, it's good. It's real good. Alright, sub-level 3. Let's see what we find in here. Kind of a more open area, huh? That's interesting. Oh, in order to leave, we're going to need raw materials. That's interesting. Oh, wait a minute. What if I came in here with no raw materials? Would I just have to abandon the mission, or how would that even work? Well, it looks like I need to use some sort of... What is this? Oh, I use it to fly over. I get it. I get it. All right, all my Pikmin come back to me. Now that I know Glow Pikmin will instantly come back to me, they're going to be my collectors. Oh, I could just move my base, though, so none of this matters. 
Red Pikmin, you ready for a fight? Get behind this guy. Get him, boys. There we go. That's my Pikmin. Now that the enemy is dead, move the base. Oh, it pushes him away. I was like, does it just instantly capture him? Of course not. That's fine. Let's look around again. Huh. There's like bones here, but there's no treasure going off. That's interesting. That looks like it'd turn into fire if I don't mess with it. Okay. Fiery Blowhog in a pretty dangerous... Nope, nope, nope. Get away. Now. Yep, you know what? Let's just make sure we're at a certain range. Don't wanna, don't wanna die for this. Yeah. Alright, Glow Pikmin, I don't own a lot of you, but go collect that stuff. Uh, collect this. Yeah. I'll let my yellows do this one. It's gonna be the time I need yellows, too, I swear. Uh, yellows wouldn't make it up there, so it's not that. Oh, shit, Ice Pikmin need my help. Warrior Pikmin! Wait, I have a better idea. Super Charge. Mega Charge! Urgh. He was stunned, I noticed it. And we do a lot of damage. Now we have more Ice Pikmin, heck yeah. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, I do need more Pikmin. Here, call them in. Glow Pikmin, you mind taking this ba body back since you just fly back to me when you're done? Glow Pikmin are awesome. They're officially awesome that they can just, like, do that. Okay, there's my yellows. Perfect. Now this is going to be a dangerous mission. You're going to be hanging for your goddamn life, so don't mess this up. Oh, they hold on to each other. Oh, that's adorable. All right, good job, Pikmin. Good job. But we got a new choo-choo set. That's awesome. Kind of a heavy choo-choo set, but a choo-choo set nonetheless. Thank you, Glow Pikmin, for returning. You're the best Pikmin ever. Um, sorry, Reds. It's just true. Uh, speaking of Reds, yeah, show them how fast you can break that open. Exactly. One hit for that guy. Uh, Glow Pikmin, go... Oh. That was an Ice Pikmin. You know what? Ice Pikmin, go collect that raw material. Okay, whatever. Let's just, uh... Oh, choo-choo set. Oil. <laughs> hey, we can go to a new area, which is hilarious since I haven't even been to the third area yet. You two are naturals at this. Bet your ass we are. And someone get that, please. Thank you. Looks like this paper bag would actually save us a lot of time. <clears throat> I wonder if they'll change directions once I do this. They do! Okay. Yeah, that, that saves us some time. And since it's like one of the... Oh, nope, the Glow Pikmin are fast! Oh, no, they're all the same speed. Okay, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. That's crazy. Well, now that we've done that, all we have to do is go back to, to base. Yeah. And once we go back to base, we're good. So, everybody... There's two reds over there. They drank some... Uh, good, they drank some nectar. I've never really been so focused on making them flower Pikmin anymore, but that's fine. They're strong Pikmin. <laughs> Alright, there's still a treasure I missed. Interesting. So let's go look for that treasure before I th even think about leaving. Although I should at least get this started, so... That is funny that they have to go all the way back to that base. Uh, the treasure is definitely not here. Let's go to the other area. Maybe I just missed something or it's underground. Cause Oh, it's up there. Okay, perfect. And I didn't send my yellow Pikmin, so that's even more perfect. Move. Wait. Oh, they sent one out because they were flying, not because they were dying. Thank God. There we go. What is that? Why can't I tell what that is? That. What is that? Maybe when I get a close-up on it, it'll be easier to figure out. Oh, a t uh, 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 like, okay, that's how you train your Eevees. No, I'm joking. That's, um, like, you just click it to add a number. It's, um, I don't actually know what they're called. I might be dumb. We good job. We built the bridge. And now that the bridge has been created, we can leave. Thank God I have the treasure tracker. I would have messed up on this one, even though I might have noticed it before leaving. All right, here we go. Time for the final floor. I wonder if they're going to give us a boss battle. Boss battles are my favorite part of Pikmin games. The boss fights in the or in Pikmin 2 were awesome. Pikmin 1 had some really cool ones, especially the secret one. Oh my god. That one was scary. Um, I lost to it when I was a kid. I didn't even understand how to kill it before it killed me. It was crazy. Now, let's go ahead and get on our dog. Ooh, okay. That's not really a boss enemy, but he's still cool. 
Yeah, there's a castaway nearby, that's for sure. This is a problem. That enemy type is really bad for us in this kind of area. Okay, we're gonna try and run past him to see if he'll blow early. I guess they're counting this as a boss battle, which, you know what? I could see that because of the area we're fighting them in. Normally, they're just a really big enemy, of a version of an enemy. But, oh, there we go. Oh! <laughs> he dies! He legit just straight up dies! Holy crap, is that brutal! My god! Who thought of that? That is so amazing. I love that. The Ice Pikmin will instant kill that enemy type. Because when he hits the ground, the impact is so impactful. <laughs> it just straight up kills him. That That's funny. That's really funny. A little brutal, but really funny. Go get him, Glow Pikmin. Alright, just in case there's a treasure in one of these. I almost missed that. That was crazy. Sorry about that, Red. Didn't mean to scare you. Get back on. Oh, cool. Cool. A little ball. How much does it take? Seven. Perfect. Let the Glow Pikmin do it. They can do it quick. Because they'll just teleport back to me. I wonder who we saved this time. Let's see that ID badge. Puddle. A stylus with clients all over the universe. Just say the word and he'll unleash his fashionable skills at lightning speed. I wonder if I can change how I look because of that. Yeah, we'll get them back to the ship. They'll tell us why they were doing it. Wait, did the Glow Pikmin not come? Oh, they do come back. I'm telling you, Glow Pikmin are awesome. Here, go help your friends over there. They're going to a little too slow. And that red Pikmin will help too. Look at him. He's helping. <laughs> I don't even need them to come back after all because we, we just leave instantly. But hey, we got ourselves one of those pool balls. A uh, number two. Solid. Nice. All right, bye, Red Pikmin. We'll see you later. All right, return to... Wait, hold up. Treasure tracker? Yep, okay. Uh, return to surface. We got everything. Life is good. Glow Pikmin! Turn into seeds, you sons of bitches! No, it's the Bulbmans all over again! They can't keep getting away with this! That's my babies! Why would they do this? Alright, 100% of the dungeon. Why do they keep making me abandon Pikmin? I love those monsters. I understand maybe they can't leave caves, but go back into seed form. We'll put you in the ship. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't make me lose Pikmin just because I wanted to use them. They're so helpful. I'm going to need to get more glow seeds to make it worthwhile. Because they're going to help with dungeon crawling a lot. Especially just for collecting time. Like, they are going to help so much. Hell, if I had them in a Dandori battle, my god, I'd be unstoppable. Alright, my ship is back. Now i got to decide what Pikmin I want. Yep, that's about what I had earlier, so that works. Alright, 75% explored. That's not enough. Now that we've gone the new dungeon, let's go off to the old dungeon and just go through it really quickly. We're just going to run right through. Don't worry. No no fighting, no nothing. And then, oh, those pins are helpful as hell. We'll go do the yellow one in a bit, but this one for sure. You know what? No, we'll do the yellow one now. Why not? It's, it's on the overworld. I don't want to forget it when I leave the second dungeon. Yeah, it's just a giant dirt mound, right? Oh, I have to go up there. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's just make it easier. How do I... Why can't I go here? <laughs> it's not... Oh, wait. Okay, wait. If I press B, it lets me. Does it? Why does this area have darkness around it? Okay. Either way, I'm getting up there. We'll figure it out. I just forgot how I got up there. Oh, I'm one of those big guys if I want to get my blue population up. I might as well, right? So, let's... Yeah. This is the one that Jason killed way back when. When he threw a bomb rock at it and it ate it. I was like, oh no, this enemy looks horrifying. I don't want to fight it. And he just freaking killed it. <laughs> Without a second thought. Alright, come on, Pikmins. We got places to be. Sorry, Poochie. Go back to base. I think that's a command for you. I could actually do that. Let's see. Go to base. Yeah. Alright, my pin has been discovered. So now it should go away, right? Oh, shit. It's a Bull Black's place. Oh, my God. There was a dungeon behind it? Oh, I am not liking this. Oh, it's a Bull Black. This is so cool. They just say bring Warrior Pikmin. You bet your ass. You bet your ass we're bringing Warrior Pikmin. I love this idea. 
a boss dungeon. The Bull Black's Kingdom. There's my friend. Oh, he's playing his asphalt. Mario, what is up with you? You love your asphalt. Okay, I am so excited to do a new dungeon. This is this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Kingdom of Beasts. That reminds me of one of the areas from back in Pikmin 2 where like the enemy the last enemy was Emperor Bull Blacks. Oh man, if I get to see the Emperor again, that would be so cool. When I was a kid and I fought him for the first time in Pikmin 1, it blew my goddamn mind how big he was and how how it was like fighting a T-Rex basically. And then, you know, every other game they try to get more creative about it, which is fine. I like creative boss battles. But it'll never be the same like fighting the Emperor for the first time. Yeah, I'm glad I bought only Fire Pikmin because it seems like they really are going to be the only thing that matters. Hopefully they're smart enough to not go attack the Bull Borb. I feel like they are. Yeah, but just in case. It's a good thing my whistle doesn't wake that guy up from his slumber. Alright, time for a uh, Mega Charge Stun Move. Go oh, bite! Yeah, that's right, we bite you. Alright. This, call in some Pikmin over here. There's an egg in there. Let's see what we can get. Some nectar for my boys, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're trying to get... They're they're trying their best. They are trying their absolute best. Okay, there you go. That's funny. Here, you guys come with me. Alright, that is super funny. Good work. Like there's more treasure over there. I can already feel it. This is gonna be a fun dungeon. Like it's gonna be a tough one. I respect tough dungeons. Okay, just sneak around this guy. No reason not to. We're not messing with him until we're ready. Now we're ready. All right, his stun lasts long enough for me to actually just straight up kill him. All right. Oh, he fits through that. That's awesome. And there's a lot of things over there, but first, break this down while I still have the numbers. Then, call the ones that are idle to come get this stuff. And that's how you save time. Look at that. They all counted as idle. They're gonna, yep, that, that's it. That's, I'm getting good at Dandori. Oh shit, I'm becoming a Leafling because I feel it. I feel it. My, my energy. My power. Alright. Once they collect the big bull borb, I'm ready to leave. <coughs> All right, new treasure collected. Looks like a piece of a picture. I'd love to see it in complete. Oh, it's a big ass puzzle piece. That's interesting. I, I hope we get to see the completed puzzle when it's done. That'd be really cool. All right. Well, this area has been cleared, so let's uh, let's get in there. So the first area makes sense. It was the basic bull board. Are they going to show us the newer ones as we keep going down? The Bull Blacks are the most annoying. And the strongest one is easily the Fiery Bull Blacks. But uh, our regular Bull Blacks is super scary. And I'll, I'll point them out when we see them. Alright. Those are... Okay, those are the orange spotted Bull Borbs. Okay. So those Bull Borbs have very good detection skills. And they'll know when you're near them before you even start throwing stuff. Rock Pikmin. I'm here. Now, funny enough... Rock Pikmin are supposed to be new, but we saw them earlier when we were doing a Dandori battle. Yeah, so this is like, it's supposed to be, hey, new Pikmin type. But... The Rock Pikmin. Hard, rocky Rock Pikmin. They break crystal walls with their stout bodies and tough bo uh, head butts. Survive being stepped on and can't be pierced by needles. Despite their sturdiness, they can still be crushed on hard surfaces or by some creature's teeth. So they're hard as rocks, huh? Yeah, can't be pierced, but they can be eaten. All right, there we go. We killed those creatures. Somebody's in that bush. God damn it. It's one of those things again. Really? Really? It's those creatures that are just annoying? Can we please just auto-target them? All right. Those creatures can get you killed if you're not careful. They did give me double nectar. I'll take it, but... Annoying. Okay, good job, Pikmins. No, I don't, I don't want the rock Pikmin doing that. No, I don't want the Rock Pikmin doing that. Let the Reds do it. The rock Pikmin are the only ones that can break that, so let them do that. They'll eventually get it done. Uh, it would be nice to have them here, too. Okay, there's a big guy. I can't really fight him yet. I mean, I could, but I don't want to come from this side. We want to go from behind. Do it the smart way. Ooh, water. Okay, that's fine. Okay, it's going to be tough. Yep, see, he was waking up already. But, because we have the stun from Mega Charge, the Mega Charge breaks the game. That actually, oh, someone's here. 
The Mega Charge straight up breaks the game. It makes it too easy. Oh, it's going to be big. Whatever this is, it's big. Alright, I need you guys. Oh, wait. Can they, they can't... Oh, they have to go all the way around. That sucks. Here, I'll go with them. Make sure there's no things in the bush. <clears throat> yeah, you guys could just go the long way. We're not really wasting that much time. Uh, oh, toothpaste. Everyone over here. All my lazy buddies over here. Alright, we got red Pikmin, rock Pikmin. We're good. Uh, reds, I want you to do everything, please. I know you're my warrior Pikmin, but today you're also going to be my pick up the crap Pikmin. Okay, now that they're done, they're all walking past. Good. Collect the corpses. <clears throat> Collect them corpses. Oh, what the hell? Are they walking through a battlefield? They made it through without dying. Thank God. Those rock Pikmin saved us because they distracted the enemy. Oh, and their new rock Pikmin. Even better. Love you guys. Saving the day every day. All right, you guys can just start breaking this down. Oh, we're almost done with that set. That's interesting. Okay. There's a Pikmin thing in there. Is that all of them? That's all of them. All right, you guys did good work. We'll just wait for them to collect everything and uh, see if that is everything. The treasure's still going off somewhere. Oh, we just collected it. The treasure tracker hasn't disappeared. Oh, yes it did. <laughs> I'm like, okay. In the other game, I can kind of hear it a little bit more. In this one, it's way quieter. Uh, and the Pikmin make louder noises than it, so... Whatever, we got it. I'm ready. So in that one, we got to fight the orange bulboards, which you had to be... You know what? They're interesting because they can get you. Those spotted bulboards could really get you just because it's like, oh, crap, how do I beat them? Well, do a mega charge like me, charge attack, or um, throw rock Pikmin and see if they can just... I don't know. I actually don't know because they'll they'll find you. Always go from behind. That is the only real tip because they'll, they'll know you're attacking... The oh, my God, the Empress? This is a boss fight. Is this the final floor already? That's the Empress Bull Blacks. This is a straight up boss fight. All right, so open, wake her up. Everyone, come on. Does she move in this? There's so much open space here. All right, you know what? I don't normally do this, but for a fight like this, let's go into our pack. Yeah. For a fight like this, you're gonna want this. I don't know when she's gonna react. Shit, shit, shit. Everyone, everyone, run, run. Run, you little bastards. Yeah, she'll crush you. She'll straight up crush you. Now, this is a young Empress Bullblax. There is a difference between a young one and an older one. Old Empress Bullblaxes are usually seen because they're pregnant, and the pregnant ones are way stronger. Uh, shit, shit, shit. Rock Pikmin are probably completely safe during this fight, and yet I'm using the reds because they do more damage. I mean, I guess rocks do damage too. It's, it's, it's unfair to say that, but yeah. Rock Pikmin would probably counter her, honestly, just because they can't be... Uh, well, oh, they did that. She did that way faster that time. I don't like that. I wonder if I can mega charge her. It might be a little risky, but with her at that HP and I'm already powered up, I think it might be worse. Oh, yeah, you can mega charge her. Oh, my God. All right, Empress Bull Black's fight. One of the first bosses you'll ever fight in Pikmin 2. A really cool opponent that they added in Pikmin 2. She was not in Pikmin 1. Um... I really like her. I think she's cool. I think her more, uh, I would say, adult form where she's actually spawning constant enemies that are just the larvae Pikmin is really hard. It's a really fun fight. Especially in four-player mode. All right. Who do we save? Mika, the Nietzsche planet. A new teacher at Alayan Academy who's been putting her liberal arts degree to good use as advisor on the Planetary Sci Science Club. A school teacher. Did she come up here as part of an educational field trip? Oh, but then that means there are other teachers and students from the school could be stranded here. Why are so many people coming to this goddamn planet? I thought they were here to save Olimar. Now I'm starting to think they're just coming to be, like, to come. Oh, she's worth 20. Holy crap, she's worth 20 sparklies. It's not bad. Okay. Whoa, lots of different treasures. They're probably worth a small amount each, but that's a lot of them. Don't worry, little red. You can come with me. Yeah, let them collect. We did good, Pikmin. We did good. I just love that they hold on to Uchi for deal, a dear life. That is just adorable. A game coin one table game. Okay. Hurry. 
Hurry, my Pikmin. I'm leaving without you. Well, that was a fun boss battle. I really enjoyed that. And she was not even the last one. It goes deeper. If this was Pikmin 2, she would have been the final boss and we would have left. But the Kingdom of Beasts has something even greater than an Empress. We're only 50%. It's a good dungeon. It's going to be a good dungeon. We're only 50% of the way there. What other freaking uh, bull, bull borbs or bull blocks will we see? Oh, are we onto the snowy ones? Or the hairy ones, technically. It looks like it, yeah. All right. Oh, no, these are the ones from Pikmin 3. Okay, these are the ones that, like, they're the slurpers. I know that sounds a little weird, but that's that's what they are. You can return to the surface anytime. Well, that's not what we're looking to do. We'll go over there later. I'm a little worried. Okay, those Pikmin need our help, so let's get back on Uchi. Don't worry, we'll dodge the fire. Those Pikmin need our help, so hurry up. Break that just in case. Get over here. Oh, we didn't break that, really. That one guy will do it, though. Proud of you. All right, let's do this. This guy's going to get it. His back's turned. Get him. That's how we do it. There's that blasted creature. Give it a taste of a bomb. Russ got killed by, or got knocked out by this creature. That's hilarious. We have a, a confirmed proof that he got knocked out by that creature type. Which it makes sense. They're fully, you know, they're fully grown bull boards. It's just, I forgot what they call those. I, I, I know that they use their tongues to slurp up Pikmin. But I don't know what the game calls them. I forgot. When we, when we go back to base, we can use our Pixelpedia to find out. If they're Pikmin 3 enemies, even though I played the game more recently, I did not actually, but even though I played the game decently recently, I'm not going to uh, be able to remember them. I'm not very smart. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm guessing Uchi's going to go in there to lower the gates. That's probably what he's doing. So let's go out. Uchi, get in there. Lower the gates for me. Uh, oh, there we go. Good job, Uchi. Call me in. All right, now that we've done that, one, two, three, four, five, beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. And we need 20. <laughs> I'm like spamming that for dear life. All right, now that we've done this, it's time to go over here to the area I did not exactly want to go to, but without the iron fence, I could sneak in. Now those bull borbs, they haven't turned into a type yet. Those are actual Bulborb babies. They're not uh, the fake ones. All right. Let's see what we can do. I have Rock Pikmin. Maybe they'll be more... Fuck. I need to, like, bait one towards us. Oh, we got, like, the different ducky sizes. Okay. There we go. One. Oh, he saw us. He's... Oh, he just saw the death. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. It would be nice to be able to... Get rid of all these little guys first. There we go. No, stop auto-targeting that, please. Thank you. I'm, like, trying to aim the other way. Yeah! Uh, yep, that's why I called... No! I didn't notice he got one. Damn it. The Pikmin. Damn you, son of a bitch. Oh, you see us, but you can't stop us. I'm getting my revenge right now. I'm going to chomp that thing with the Uchi. I'm just waiting for him to turn around. That's it. There we go. He got one. Get him. All right, we got him. We, he didn't. He did not get to get that guy. Losing a rock Pikmin breaks my heart since they're brand new types, and we aren't going to be able to have any more of them. So, yeah, and I have no idea how many we're going to need. Granted, it feels like even one can break down a glass wall. It just it's all about time limits, so it's not that important. But still, I I, I don't want to kill them all. Although I will say, and I hope I don't get in trouble for this, rock Pikmin are my least favorite type of Pikmin. I think that their design, even though they're just like Ice Pikmin, is kind of dumb. And what they do is at least a little different because, you know, they don't get crushed. They don't get, you know, pierced. But they're just kind of, they're just kind of meh. So in that floor, we did straight up lose a Pikmin. That, that one we lost to a larvae of all things. We lost to a larvae. 66%. Did I miss a treasure in there and not even notice? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did Cooper go through too quickly? feel it all right let's see what they say oh the bull blocks is that is one of the hardest enemies in the game right there they will actively hunt you during the day and they can find your pikmin they're not they're not afraid they will find you 
Okay, we're at least getting more rock Pikmin. That's the good news. But we always have to keep our eye on that bull blacks because once they find us, they're going to come after us. Okay, get that guy. He's not done yet? Okay, he's done. Uh, even though they could bring the treasure back. Actually, it probably isn't a bad idea. Oh, this guy knows, This guy can end up going to our base if I'm not careful. And since he always has bodyguards, it's it's even harder. Yeah, it's a it's an actual difficult enemy in Pikmin games. All right, the bull blacks. He's worth. Oh shit! Oh shit! They're starting to use traps now. And that guy knocked over some of my Pikmin when he did that. Okay, let's. Uh, we're just digging up, uh, digging it up. We're not gonna actually take it just yet because if we try, we die. This is to get to the next floor. Oh no, it's not. That's a switch. That switch will come in handy. Alright. Iron fence lowered. Good. There we go. Everyone to me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Do not go over there. Everyone over here instead. Run, 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 run. He has, he has the scent. He has the scent. Run. Move, 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 move. Uchi, why weren't you part of this? Come on. Let's go. Old Papa needs you. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, we're doing it. We don't care. Okay, the charge attack breaks the game. We can actually just cheat. I thought Jason broke the game. No, this this breaks the game. Literally having the charge attack made that not a fight, thank God. Wow, he had a lot of treasure. All these dice. He's worth 12. Yeah, he's worth two more than a normal bull borb. Or any type of bull borb. Which uh, is interesting. But bull blocks are no jokes. Those are enemy types you should always be wary of. Never, never feel safe. Ever. Alright, getting all the treasures. Is there anything in here? There was. Oh, they just weren't close enough to get in there, really. Oh, not the red, not the rocks. I need the reds to do this. All right, they got it. They got it. There's the exit. You guys break. Oh, there's something in there. I saw the grass move. Who's in here? Oh, Pikmin. The little flowers are making it move. Okay, cool. More Pikmin types. Well, not types. More freaking rock Pikmin. I'll take it. I'm sad I got one killed, but I'll take it. I can't imagine that these Pikmin are fun to eat. I'm still missing a treasure, though, so where did I leave? Over here, yeah. The first area, that makes sense. Thank God I'm going slow on this one, because I might have messed up on the last floor. I do not know. It might just be a deep dungeon, and I did do it correctly on the last floor. Because, uh, so far it's the longest dungeon. Yeah, it, this has been the longest dungeon, and the most fun. Like, the fact that I can kill Bull Blacks now thanks to my Uchi charge attack is amazing. And the stun lasts long enough for him to not instant eat everybody. Which is totally a thing. He'll just straight up eat you while you're hitting him. He does not care. Alright, here we go. 84 Pikmin. So, we've taken on that Slurper. We've taken on an Orange Bull Borb. We've taken on a regular Bull Borb. And we've taken on a Bull... Uh, Empress Bull Blacks and a regular Bull Blacks. Um... I think he's called the Spotted Bull Blacks, but whatever. Um... What, is, what, what could they even throw at us next? That would be surprising. The final sub-level. Okay, so this is a final... Okay, this is a big boss. This means big boss time. Two enemies. And... Those are some grassy backs, but they're so small. Like, I recognize the backs, don't get me wrong. But they're very small, and there's two of them. Empress, uh, Emperor Bullblox, that is the boss of the Bullblox Kingdom. They made him way smaller than they did before in Pikmin 1. In Pikmin 2, they made him this small as well, so I'm not surprised. Um, there's two of them next to each other. I don't understand the strategy. Uh, they don't seem to care. They're, they're coming. Do, it's still the lips, right? You have to attach their lips, I think. Oh, he's going to come and eat them off the... Yep, he can crush Pikmin too, which is what the rock Pikmin are for, but... Yeah, I don't think their backs are useful. Go for the mouth! Yes! No! Get away! 
Kill him! Oh, he almost got us there. All right, the emperors have been nerfed to hell. They used to be th they used to be threats. These are nothing. These are absolutely nothing. The Empress Bullblocks is more of a threat nowadays than two Emperors. That's crazy. I'm going to just say, they've made the Emperors babies. They're baby Emperors now. And it turns out I'm actually using that Nectar a little more often. How much are these Emperors worth? If the mom was worth 20, or the Empress was 20. They're both worth 15. Makes sense. I guess it's just how much that it takes to carry them. Sai of Ogura, the environmental ecologist, joined the team to research Pikmin ecology and decipher their mysterious relationships to whistles. That is interesting. The endless burn of the academic never satisfied unless they see with their own eyes and touch it with their own hands. And then, you know, burn or die to it. Good old Prometheus. Alright. This is exactly like Pikmin 2. After you killed the first Emperor, Emperor Bullblocks in the Bullblocks Kingdom in Pikmin 2, this is exactly what the area looks like. Now, luckily, even though it looks like we need uh, Blue Pikmin, which every time I come here, I always bring Blue Pikmin, uh, you don't because Uchi can swim. And honestly, you could just throw them up here and then walk around and get to them. That's how you do it in the other game, but screw that. We got this. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Come on, get on to Uchi. Get on to Uchi. Everyone on to Uchi. So it's a little strange how this works. Uh, you know, I can just walk through this. The idol. It's even the same type of, like, thing. That's so interesting. They're just doing a bunch of callbacks to the old game. The Empress Bullblax fight was like the same thing, but that was from a different dungeon. This is just like a blast from the past right now. I'm, ha I'm like geeking out. I really like this. Alright, these Pikmin are smart enough to walk around. What is this all about? Why does it say throw? Maybe if you come here before you learn how to swim, like, this is just to give your auto-target something to throw at. I, I can understand that. Jump! Alright, well, once we collect the idol, we are going to be, I hope, 100% complete. Because that thing looks interesting. New treasure collected. I swear, if I miss something, I'm going to be so upset with myself. I do not want to come back here. This place was dangerous as hell. Granted, I get a lot more rock Pikmin if I came back here, so it still end up being a win. But yeah, that was really cool. We had two big boss fights. So in in Pikmin 2, they separated the dungeon where you'd fight those two bosses, Empress and Emperor. In this one, they just put them together, which is really cool. It was honestly just like a perfect recreation of the uh, of the old Pikmin 2 dungeon. Emperor, uh, Bullblock's Kingdom. Uncharted Planet, Taurus. Research Task Force rest, uh, Recruit. Okay, it was still 100%, thank God. Thank you, God. I, I thought I messed up. All right. Well, we did good, guys. And now our Rock Pikmin population is up because we own Rock Pikmin now. That was the one Pikmin we were missing from here. So now we have Ice, Rock, Glow, Red, Yellow, Blue. We're still missing Flying, Purple, and White. Because we already have the two new Pikmin types, Ice and that, unless there's a third new Pikmin type. Which is probably possible. And no spoilers in the comments. I'm I'm enjoying this game. I don't ever want spoilers. This game's been so much fun to me. Alright, now let's see what happens. I should still have plenty of day left to go, you know, collect the stuff on the surface and 100% this area. Looks like Rock Pikmin are not needed in this area, which is fine. Alright, so now I need to get rid of this pin. Am I too close to the pin for me to be able to target it? How do I... Unpin. There we go. Never mind. It's the Y button. All right. Now to get to that pink pin, which means, yep, because old Cooper made a mistake, we're going to have to redo a dungeon. Now, this was probably either Demo Cooper or just a bad Cooper in general. Oh, I forgot to let these guys get this guy back to base. That's funny. The body just gets left there. They're just like, oh, no, I didn't get the body back. Okay, can't hurt to let them go through. Uh, looks like we're going through this dungeon again. Before we go through, we might as well let the blues collect this. They need the population growth. Yellows, don't, 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 don't make them take it to the yellow base. I swear to God. It's still for the blue Pikmin. So yeah, this should ex exit me over there, and then I can fix the problem that I missed up. All right, we good? It looks like we're good. All right, entering in. So, this one is a quick one, I think, so I can just run through it. Doesn't matter what Pikmin I bring, I'm running through. 
Old Cooper's mistake has cost me. But new Cooper's gonna fix everything. He's going for that 100%. All right, investigating the Pikmin Caves. Our progress is good. Uh, our Pikmin are happy. I lost one today due to the Rock Pikmin getting devoured. I couldn't even see him in the bunch, so that was cruel. That was just straight up cruel. All right, Sightless Passage. Does not matter. I do have sight because I have my thing on. All I need to do is find the exit. There's the exit. I thought we cleared all these creatures, but now they must have found this open territory and moved right in. Yep, even if you explore 100%, something else. Uh, how do I get up there again? Paper bag on the other side? Okay. I'm leaving behind all my Pikmin. I don't need them. I just need to find the way out of here. So let's just run for dear life. Wait, it still says the Pikmin are following me. That can't be true, right? I hope it's not. I hope they are just stuck there. Oh god, they are following me. Okay. Oh no, they're still on the dog. Good. Good. Return to surface. No, ex keep explo- Oh, wait. Oh, wait, yeah, this is what we want. Uh, return to surface, because now this will take us out to the other side. Yay! <laughs> okay, that took no time at all, so I'm not even that upset with myself anymore. A little bit, but not that much. Yay! <laughs> we did it. Now I just gotta find all the freaking uh, treasures in the world, and we're good. Once I find all the treasures, I'll become king of the pot. No, wait, that's not this. That's not this game. I'll become king of the Pikmin. All right, side missions. I feel like I've been collecting a lot of stuff from side missions. Co-op mode, that's a lie. They shouldn't call it that. They should call it um, desperate baby mode, two-player bullshit. I don't know. I'm not really a named. I don't really do good with names, but uh, it's more accurate than what they're calling it. So, you know, just saying. All right. Blue Pikmin, go ahead. Push that aside. That guy's actually pretty harmless. Don't mess with him. He's a cool guy. I'm not even joking. He's a nice guy. You don't need to fight him. Alright, seven of you. Get up there. It's like a cool little piece, so I'm, I'm into that. But I do need to get my Blue Pikmin population up, so... <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Nice Pikmin froze him. Beat him up. Beat him up while he's frozen. He's really tanky, but he's not... Oh! Oh, I had to kill him. I feel bad now. I didn't even want to. He's a really nice guy from Pikmin 1, and then they put him in Pikmin 2 as well, but... Yeah, he was actually the nicest guy, and uh, we murdered him. Oh, flower. Ah, whatever. Let the let the butterflies live. Just get, get, get you know, get your stuff up. Everyone drink. Okay, everyone get back on the dog. We gotta see if we're missing anything. So these two treasures could be the last two, but we do not know for sure. And if they aren't the last two, the treasure tracker will not go away. If it does go away, then I can't really see what else we need to do here. New treasure collected. Treasure collector's still going off. Alright, if that's the case, then we're getting off the dog because it's time to use our ability. Dog ability, go. Treasure. Oh, I have rock pikmin and stuff. The leaflings are out there. Whatever, just find me, find me treasure. Okay. Follow the scent. It's behind us. Got it. Oh, wait, wait. Dog, 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 dog. Wait, hold up. Come back, come back. We'll get... Yeah, get, get everyone on. Okay. The treasure's over here somewhere. It'd be a lot easier if we just did this. Okay. I assume it's over here. Nope, it's starting to go down. It's starting to go back. Okay, this is it. This is the treasure. Okay, while you guys are doing that, I'm gonna- is that like a harmonica? I'm gonna go change the base location if I can. Is there really nowhere to change the base location? Oh, shit. Pikmin, come to me. Come to the puppy. Okay, I guess that's close enough. It's not that bad. Look at them go. Good, good, Pikmin. The harmonica is ours. The day is almost over, so this better be the last one. If it's not, we're in trouble. We can check the map real quick. Let's see if we're missing anything. Oh, there's two Pikmin that did not follow. Those little bastards. I'll just call them over here. Alright, that should get their attention, right? Yep, there they are. Get over here. I guess they couldn't keep up with the dog. There's still more treasure. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I am running out of time. I should have just been more uh, doing the treasure again. Treasure, find it now. Follow the scent. 
We'll stay on you this time, because, yep, it's probably over there again. Right, no need to throw anything. Just let the dog get us to where we need to go. So both treasures were in this area where me and Jason or me and Rick killed everything. That's the source of the scent? Is it this? It totally is. Okay, well, hopefully that's enough Pikmin to get it. And while they're getting that, I'm going to hope to God they make it back in time. Excavation completed. All right, good. Um, don't suppose... Let's see. Are there any leaflings on the map? No scent. Okay. Are there any castaways still? All right. Are there any treasures still? Okay, that's the last treasure. Are there any onions? I know there's going to be raw material, but... Okay. We'll get the raw material. That'll be the last thing we do today. I know I left a lot of raw material spots, but that's fine. It's not as important. Go, my Pikmin, go. Be heroes. It's like, Cooper, collect the corpses to get your population up. That's a good idea. I'm going to ignore it, but it is a good idea. We did it! 100% of the area explored! We did it, everybody! And we had extra time today, so now I even get to get uh, more uh, raw material. Since uh, I do have a little bit of time for that. Just a small amount. Alright, ten Pikmin are out and about doing their thing. They're probably the ones that collected the last thing we needed. Alright, we pulled this through. This whole area is complete. We can now go to the third area with nothing to worry about. Hopefully they all make it back with the raw material in time. No Pikmin are in danger though, so I think it's fine. Alright, everyone good? We got everything we needed. Life is good. Raw materials are up. Sparklium is up. And we had the best dungeon in the, of the day. By far, that was the best dungeon of the day. The the uh, the Bullblacks is just a blast from the past. And then we get to see all of them. Granted, the Emperor Bullblacks is a disappointment now. I guess that we are just finding small emperors or young emperors. We haven't found a true Emperor Bullblacks. Not like in Pikmin 1. Although in Pikmin 1, I think, weirdly enough, you go for the grass back rather than the, the, the mount. So you think the moss would be all defensive, but whatever. The face is, is also scary, so it makes sense. All right, now that we've completed our day, I wonder what they're going to say. They're going to be like, Cooper, you messed up. There was actually more things you needed to collect, you fool. And then I'm going to be upset with the game <laughs> instead of being upset with uh, myself. All right, Pup Drives, the art of Dandori. Dandori is the art of organizing your tasks strategically and working to execute your plans. Yes, yes, yes. Hey there, everybody. I have returned with new bodies. Hopefully they can be recovered and heal. All right, we're back in the ship. We have new Sparklium powers. We got the ship up to its next level. Uh-oh. Uh Yo, look at that. Restored SS Shepard's engines. Heck yeah. Alright, the engines are ready to go. Heck yeah. Now we can take off at any time. If we could find our pilot until the SS Shepard remains ground. Okay. Yeah, we need to find our pilot. And well, all of our guys. Well, I found three people, which means new pup moves next episode. We found some cool stuff. We got a new collection series, which means more Sparklium. Which, uh... Maybe we can get to 9,000 with this. I think that was the only collection we completed, though. So, yeah. Oh, we were close. We were so close to 9K. But we 100% of the area and got the new Pikmin type, Rock Pikmin. So now, Area 2 is complete. Why do we fight and why does everything have to be comp a competition? Something matter, boss? Nah, just a passing through I had a while watching that Dandori battle. It just strikes me as sad. Here we are living all together and sharing the same universe. We should be friends, not foes. Yeah, it makes sense, but uh, then shouldn't we and, uh, you know, me and yeah, we and uh, you be friends with all the creatures of the universe as well? Creatures? No, no, that's an entirely different situation. No, he's got a point. He's got a point. You're being a dick. 
Alright guys, now that we've done that, side missions, what do we get? Cave diving 2? Oh, we completed a bunch of side missions. Okay, that's cool. Well, next episode, I obviously want to go to Area 3, but we probably should do some of those night missions as well. We're definitely going to need some sap after all. We got four leafling bodies just sitting there praying for, for death or to be recovered. All right, any cutscenes now that we've done this? Oh, new area. Okay. The rescue command post was starting to feel a bit cramped, so we expanded into a new area. Oh, you found material? Like what? Hold up. Oh, we got more material. He gave us more raw material. Heck yeah. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. I want to thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and me and Uchi are going to go all the way to either night missions or the new area. Bye-bye.